Hey guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm and spring has finally arrived, but with spring comes some crazy weather. It could be 70 degrees and sunny and the next moment it could be downpouring and just uh, freezing everywhere. So can we plant some flowers? Oh yeah, there's some great flowers that can handle these conditions. They love the frost and they're just beautiful. Actually, two of them are perfect for weddings, and I'll show you those first. But Huggy Bear and I are going to take you to the big box stores and show you our favorites. So let's go. If I had to pick one flower for a spring wedding, it would be the stunning and elegant Ranunculus flower. It means little frog, but this little frog blooms into the most amazing flower and what's great is you could start these by corm and start them in the spring and they'd be ready for summer otherwise it's hardy to zone eight to ten The Germans had a belief that the first girl to find a primrose on Easter would marry that year. Well, for me, this flower is perfect for the bridesmaid. It has a shorter stalk or it could have a longer stalk and it has vibrant colors. And what's great is you could keep these in a container and wrap them and the bridesmaid could take them home as a memory because this flower is a perennial. Actually, there's only three zones that it can't handle. Zone one through three. Otherwise, it's there for life. The English daisy reminds me of a hippie flower. It's so beautiful and every evening it closes its petals and every morning they open them up and show this beautiful eye. And it always comes in such vibrant colors. Now this is hardy between zones three to nine and it'll bloom from early spring till when summer hits and it starts getting hot. Okay, the next plant is the pulmonary or lungwort plant, and it has beautiful pastel colors. But what's great about this perennial is that it's amazing foliage. It has spotted leaves, so it just will give and give and give. Great for containers in the shade or in the ground. This is hardy for zones two through eight want baby blue flowers then you want to look at the lobelia plant it's either compact plant which is great for containers or a tall variety if you want some that looks similar but is a perennial in zones four to eight then look at the phlox it has the same baby blue flowers but this also has a variety of other colors and it's always guaranteed to come back. An elegant flower would be the Candy Tough. It has brilliant white flowers, and what's great, after it's done blooming, it has a sprawling foliage, and it's great for containers. That's where I put it. In history, one of the first cut flowers is the Dianthus. And it can be either an annual, a perennial in zones four to eight, or a biennial. I always bring them in in the winter, but they will bloom in the spring and in the fall.
One of the most elegant flowers in the spring is the Louisia plant. And I was surprised to see it because you don't see it very often. But this is native to North America in the Rocky areas. And it's hardy between zones three to eight, but it hates wet feet. But these brilliant Easter colors means rebirth and renewal, which is perfect for Easter. Taylor's favorite flowers from the old house is the columbine flower. It comes in so many colors, the reds, the purples, the pinks, and the yellows, but it is hardy to zones four to eight, and it always comes back, and it gets bigger and bigger every year. In the Victorian times, in the language of flowers, the sea thrift flower meant sympathy. But I'm not sure why, because these beautiful wider purple flowers are so cute. And what's great is their grassy foliage, which makes a great ground cover. And it's hardy to zones four to eight. It's not spring if it doesn't have pansies or violets. These edible beauties are great on any Easter dish. Check out our videos on that. 